Protecting the residents in your community from home fires is an important part of your job. You work closely with developers and builders, playing a vital role in helping to ensure their safety. Understanding the role of home fire sprinklers is more important than ever because sprinklers have been required in the model codes since 2006. It's imperative that building officials understand the importance of home fire sprinklers. Both of the model codes, the ICC model codes and NFPA model codes, now require home fire sprinklers as a minimum protection level within those model documents. And you just have to go back to the intent of those codes in Chapter 1. And it says the intent is to provide a reasonable level of building and life safety protection, and it establishes a minimum level. In the next few minutes, you'll learn why new home construction, design, and content make a home fire more dangerous. And you'll see why this life-saving feature improves public safety as well as the infrastructure of your community. Residential fires cost our society dearly. A home fire is a tragedy that can happen to anyone, any day, at any time, without warning. You may be surprised to learn that nine out of 10 fire deaths occur in homes. Each year in the U.S., these fires injure and kill thousands of people. Annually, more than $7 billion in personal property literally go up in smoke and flames. Most fatal home fires occur at night, and those at greatest risk are the people who have the most difficulty escaping a fire, young children, older adults, and people with disabilities. Fire sprinklers work automatically to control a fire while it is still small. That fast response limits the spread of deadly heat, smoke, and toxic gases and gives occupants extra time to escape. Sprinklers save lives and prevent injuries. In contrast, in fewer than three minutes, an unchecked home fire can reach deadly proportions, flashover, where everything in a room combusts and no one can survive. The typical fire service response time is seven to 10 minutes. When sprinklers are installed, it's like having a firefighter in the home 24 hours a day. Today, there is a growing trend in jurisdictions and communities like yours as thousands of one and two family homes are being built each year protected by sprinklers. If you think newer homes are safer than old homes, think again. As this test footage from UL shows, today's homes with open designs and lightweight construction materials allow a fire to grow more quickly and spread throughout the house faster than in traditional homes. As homes are built today, they're built to incorporate all kinds of lightweight construction. Over time, we've replaced mass with math, which from the standpoint of stability makes sense, but the amount of time that you have before that structure is going to collapse is reduced dramatically. We've seen collapse times anywhere from three to six minutes where the fire service used to rely on 20 minutes or more before that structure was going to collapse. The expanded use of synthetic material along with other modern contents and furnishings provide a powerful source for fuel. In addition to changes in the home construction, another big change in our home has been the furnishings that we put in. They're made out of synthetic materials, uh, products that have origin in, in petroleum products. They're great materials, they're lightweight, but when they catch fire, they emit tremendous toxic gas. And the other thing is that they burn faster and hotter than cellulosic fuels, hardwood, and things like that. So the fire spreads, the fire grows so much quicker and consumes the oxygen in the house so much quicker. And so there again, a very fast response from a sprinkler in the experiments we did earlier, less than two minute response with the sprinkler, limited the fire damage to one cushion on the sofa. Everything else was a little bit of water damage in one room of the rest of the house and it kept conditions tenable throughout the house in terms of temperature and toxic gas. It's a tremendous tool. Flashover is more likely in homes today than ever before. Ceiling and floor collapses are common in home fires without sprinklers. If there is an uncontrolled fire burning and a chance that someone is in the building, firefighters will risk their own lives to save the lives of others. So while they protect the occupants of a building, sprinklers also protect the lives of responding firefighters. Fire sprinklers work independently and are individually activated by the high heat from flames. 
the sprinkler closest to the fire flows water in response to the high temperature of the fire. In most cases, just one sprinkler is needed to control the flames. Sprinklers cannot be activated by smoke, steam from a shower, or interconnected smoke alarms. Because they cool the smoke and gases produced by the fire, sprinklers prevent flashover. No other household fire safety technology can prevent flashover. The key benefit of fire sprinklers for protecting the firefighters is that the sprinkler system activates so early on when the fire is growing. A single head activates above the fire, extinguishes the fire, so when the fire department does arrive, typically they just have some minor overhaul to go ahead and deal with on that scene. Each sprinkler is temperature sensitive and acts like a plug for the water in the piping. A sprinkler will activate when the temperature from a fire reaches between 135 and 165 degrees Fahrenheit, bursting this element and allowing the water to flow to put out the fire. Because they respond quickly and automatically, fire sprinklers often can find damage to just one room. And the water flow from sprinklers is only a fraction when compared with the high-powered water hoses used by firefighters. Sprinkler systems use, you know, on average, based upon National Fire Research Foundation studies, 10% of the water supply that's put onto a fire for an unsprinkler building. Fire sprinklers have environmental benefits. Research from FM Global and HFSC found that fire sprinklers reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 98%, reduce fire damage by up to 97%, reduce water usage to fight a home fire, and reduce water pollution. NFPA 13D is referenced by the International Residential Code and by other model codes as the installation standard for fire sprinkler systems in one and two family dwellings. The primary purpose is to save lives. NFPA 13D only requires sprinklers in occupied space. Sprinklers are not required in smaller bathrooms or closets, garages, attached open structures or attics. NFPA 13D recognizes two different approaches, standalone and multipurpose. A standalone system is a dedicated sprinkler system that doesn't share piping with domestic plumbing fixtures. Multi-purpose systems have piping that serves both sprinklers and domestic plumbing fixtures. Plastic and copper piping are most commonly used in sprinkler systems. The two types of plastic that are permitted are chlorinated polyvinyl chloride, or CPVC, and cross-linked polyethylene, or PEX. Plastic pipe has really simplified installation and made sprinkler systems affordable. With a municipal water supply, the 10-minute duration required by NFPA 13D will not be an issue, since the water supply is always available and will not run out. When municipal water pressure is too low or when well water is used as the source, a tank and pump may be needed to supply pressure. The riser includes a pressure gauge, flow switch, and test and drain assembly. It may also include a water flow alarm. The flow switch monitors any water flow through the system and is wired to a bell. The flow switch can also be wired to an outside horn or strobe and to a monitored security system. Increasingly, community planners, water suppliers, and building officials are now realizing the benefits of sprinklered homes to their communities. Municipal officials often have the authority to offer valuable trade-up options for sprinkler developments. Those trade-ups are significantly greater in both the model codes and also in the local codes now. So as an example, a, uh, you can reduce the rated wall assembly for townhomes from two hours to one hour. You can reduce some rating of some exterior walls in single family dwellings. For the developer standpoint, you can reduce hydrant spacing. You can reduce fire flow requirements. You've got flexibility with the number of entrances into a subdivision. And there's also a package of financial incentives that many jurisdictions put together, such as fire impact fee trade-offs, water connection charges, building permit fee credits. In short, Home fire sprinklers represent a powerful life safety and community infrastructure win-win situation. 
Over the last five years, we've seen a pretty dramatic shift in many of the builders, and they are much more accepting of home fire sprinklers. Home fire sprinklers will protect residents and firefighters and improve your community's infrastructure. Take the time to educate yourself on the true facts, the evidence, and the statistics on home fire sprinklers. And look at the data, look at the fire testing that's occurred, and look at the successes that have occurred with home fire sprinklers. Talk to some of your fire official peers also and see how fire sprinklers have impacted their operation on a daily basis and some of the lives that have been touched by the successes of home fire sprinklers. The Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition is here to help if you need it please visit our website at homefiresprinkler.org.